Dogs are mirrors reflecting our love. Strengthen your bond and their loyalty will shine even brighter. Ever glance at your furry friend, mid-treat snatch or ear scratch frenzy and wonder, does my dog even like me? We all shower our pups with love, belly rubs, and maybe even the occasional forbidden treat. Don't tell the vet. But sometimes their behavior can be a confusing jumble of tail wags and side-eye glances. Fear not, fellow dog lovers. This comprehensive guide will help you decipher the subtle signs your dog might not be plotting your demise in favor of a solo kibble kingdom. Hopefully. The Myth of Canine Hatred Understanding Dog Behavior 101 First things first, let's address the elephant, or chew toy, in the room. Dogs are generally wired to form strong bonds with their humans. We're their pack leaders, treat dispensers and providers of the most epic belly rubs. They crave our companionship, affection, and yes, even those delicious treats. However, unlike humans who can clearly express dislike with a well-timed eye roll or scathing comment, dogs communicate through a complex mix of body language, vocalizations, and behavior patterns. So, a grumpy glance doesn't necessarily mean your dog is plotting your demise. It might just mean they're feeling a little off or need a refresher on those basic commands. Guilty glance at the owner who hasn't practiced stay since puppyhood. Decoding the disgruntled dog. Signs to watch out for and what they might mean. Now that doesn't mean there aren't signs that might indicate your dog isn't exactly thrilled with a particular situation, including you. Gasp. Here are some things to keep an eye on, along with some helpful insights into what they might be trying to communicate. The body language blues, a canine conversation in nonverbal cues dogs are masters of nonverbal communication. A flattened tail tucked between their legs, flattened ears, or averted gaze can all indicate fear, anxiety, or discomfort. Imagine yourself approaching a stranger with a raised voice and intense eye contact. You'd probably feel pretty uncomfortable too. If your dog exhibits these signs consistently around you, it might be a sign they're not feeling comfortable or secure. Consider if there's been a recent change in your routine, a new pet in the house, or a loud noise that might be causing them stress. The growl heard round the house, when woofs turn into warnings growling is a clear sign of discomfort or aggression. While playful growls during games are normal, a low growl accompanied by stiff posture and bared teeth is a definite red flag. If your dog growls at you specifically, especially when you try to approach their food bowl or a favorite toy, consult a professional trainer or behaviorist to understand the root cause and address it safely. Remember, early intervention is key. The great escape, when walks become breakouts. Does your dog bolt for the door every time you approach with the leash? While some dogs might simply be ecstatic about the prospect of a walk, especially if it involves a trip to the dog park. This behavior could also indicate they associate leash time with unpleasant experiences like trips to the vet or stressful encounters with other dogs. Pay attention to your dog's overall demeanor before and after walks to see if there's a pattern. Maybe pre-walk playtime or a change in the walking route could make all the difference. The side eye of judgment, the canine look of disapproval. We've all been there. The moment our dog stares at us with a look that could curdle milk, it's the look reserved for the time you confiscated their favorite chew toy or dared to clip their nails. The horror! While a side eye can sometimes be playful, especially if accompanied by a playful head tilt, it can also indicate confusion or disapproval. If your dog frequently gives you the side eye after you've done something, like say, accidentally stepping on their tail, it might be their way of communicating their displeasure. A quick apology, and maybe a belly rub, can go a long way in smoothing things over. The selective hearing. When come here becomes background noise. Dogs are known for their impressive hearing, but sometimes they conveniently turn deaf when you call their name, especially if bath time is imminent. While occasional selective hearing is normal, especially for a dog distracted by a squirrel or a particularly enticing sniff, consistently ignoring your commands could be a sign of a lack of trust or respect. Revisit your training methods and ensure you're using positive reinforcement with plenty of praise and treats to establish clear communication. The grumpy groom, when touch turns to trouble. Does your once cuddle-loving companion suddenly become Mr. or Ms. Grumpy Gills when you try to brush them or clip their nails? This could be a sign of several things. Maybe they have a sensitive spot that gets irritated during grooming. Perhaps they had a negative experience at the groomer in the past. Or it could simply be that they haven't been properly desensitized to the grooming process. Consult your veterinarian to rule out any underlying medical issues and consider gentle desensitization techniques with plenty of treats and positive reinforcement to make grooming time a positive experience for both of you. The food fuss budget, when mealtime becomes a meltdown. Is your dog suddenly turning up their nose at their usual kibble? 
While a picky eater can be frustrating, it's important to consider the cause. Could they be feeling unwell? Have you recently switched their food to a different brand they don't like? Maybe they're simply bored with their current diet. Talk to your vet to rule out any medical reasons for their pickiness and consider adding some variety to their meals with fresh vegetables, cooked lean meats, or a sprinkle of cheese. The potty party pooper. When accidents happen, more often than usual, is your housebroken dog suddenly having accidents in the house? This could be a sign of a medical issue like a urinary tract infection or bladder problems. Schedule a visit to your veterinarian to get a clean bill of health. However, accidents can also be caused by stress, anxiety, or a change in routine. If your dog's potty training seems to be regressing, consider if there have been any recent changes in their environment that might be causing them anxiety. The destructive digger. When furniture becomes a chew toy, does your dog suddenly seem to have a vendetta against your furniture, shoes, or favorite throw pillows? Destructive chewing can be a sign of boredom, separation anxiety, or a lack of mental stimulation. Ensure your dog is getting enough exercise and mental stimulation through walks, playtime, and interactive toys. Provide them with appropriate chew toys to redirect their chewing instincts and consider crate training if separation anxiety is a concern. Remember, patience is key! Building a happy and fulfilling relationship with your dog. Building a strong bond with your dog takes time, patience, and understanding. Don't get discouraged if you don't see immediate results. By learning to read your dog's body language and addressing any underlying issues, you can foster a happy and fulfilling relationship with your furry friend. Here are some additional tips to remember. Consult a trainer or behaviorist. If you're concerned about your dog's behavior, a professional can help you decode the signs and develop a training plan to address the root cause. Focus on building trust, positive reinforcement, and building a strong bond through play, affection, and quality time are essential for a happy and well-adjusted dog. Consider your dog's needs. Are you meeting your dog's exercise and mental stimulation needs? A bored or understimulated dog is more likely to exhibit negative behaviors. Rule out medical issues. Sometimes changes in behavior can be a sign of an underlying medical condition. Schedule a visit to your veterinarian to ensure your dog is healthy. So, the next time you catch your dog giving you the side eye, remember, it might not be a sign of hatred. By understanding the subtle signs of canine communication, you can build a stronger bond with your furry companion and create a lifetime of love, laughter, and maybe even a few chewed shoes. We can't all be perfect. Did you enjoy the content? Please support the channel by clicking the subscribe and share buttons for more informative and entertaining dog training tips.